Welcome to the third NVIEW Composer tutorial. Open NVIEW to the COM template web page. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about cascading style sheets, or CSS. CSS is a separate HTML document that establishes rules for formatting in your website. Instead of having to make the same changes on each page, you create a rule and refer each page to your list of rules. These rules will cascade one after another. Each rule becomes a style sheet, thus the name Cascading Style Sheets. Rules be can be broken down into two specific types, a type rule or a class rule. A type rule allows you to apply formatting to a specific type of HTML coding. For instance, the body tag, pictured here. The body tag can be altered to display a background color of blue. Because the body tag exists in all web pages, each page that has been linked to that CSS page will have a blue background. A class rule allows you to apply formatting to a specific area, say the bottom global navigation bar. It is not automatic like the type rule, but allows for much faster formatting of web pages. Now let's create our first CSS rule. To do this, we're going to go up to Tools and select the CSS Editor. From here, we need to uncheck Expert Mode and select Rule. Now we can apply our first rule. Notice that the rules can be broken up into class and type, like we just discussed. We're going to select or create a class rule that's going to go for our navigation or side navigation bar over here. We're going to call this Side Nav. No spaces. Once I hit Create Style Rule, it's going to create our first style sheet and then our cascading rule. Side Nav. You notice that it puts a period in front of all classes. NView does this for you, so you do not need to do that. Now we need to change the text. The text can be changed from unspecified to predefined. A predefined text will tell the computer what text to replace or to format our web page in. The reason it lists three is in case the user doesn't have a sp the first font installed. It goes in specific to least specific order. Then we're going to change the font size. We're going to change the font size to 14 points. We're going to change our line height to 28 points. By putting this at 28 points, it will put a blank line in between each of our links. You could change the text color, but because we have this as hyperlinks, this text wouldn't change. It's going to remain the normal blue that a hyperlink is usually formatted in. Under font weight, we're going to select bold. Under font style, we're going to select normal. The case can be changed from no change, lowercase, uppercase, or capitals. We're going to put no change. This will just bring in whatever we typed it in. We're also going to select center for our alignment. It's going to center it in within the cell that we want it to be centered in. Now we can change the background color. The background color is going to be the IUP gray. To do this, we'll select here on this button. and We're going to put in a specific hexadecimal code. This code is an exact key for our gray that we want. The code always starts with a pound sign. and Then we're going to put in A2, A5, a4. Select OK. This is the IUP gray. Now select the borders tab. Under borders you can apply these borders to all the same sides of your cell or table or whatever you're creating a rule for. You can see that there's a bunch of different types listed below. Under box we can change positions. Under display we're going to display our text as a table header group. This will put it towards the top of our page. Then we're going to select Close. Now it's time to apply our rule. To apply our rule, we need to select this cell. To select a specific cell, the first thing we can do is click inside of it. Each cell is referred to with a specific HTML type or tag. The type or tag for this one is a TD for table data. Notice that the TD is the last tag here. It goes this way because the TR tag is the table row. That applies to the whole row. This TD tag is the first one, 
whereas this one is the second TD tag. Here, we're going to apply our first rule. So I'm going to select TD. That highlights everything for this cell. Then we can come up here to the formatting toolbar and select side nav. Once that's selected, you'll notice the changes that are made to our navigation bar. Everything now nicely is formatted and spaced the way we want it to be spaced. 